we are going to do some wood cutting with our little battery inverter system so the slow start and the angle grinder Well, hello all. Someone from the A-Team used to say, I love it when a plan comes together. And today a plan came together that I've been thinking about literally for more than a year. And that is an alternative to a chainsaw, some way of cutting small trees in a fire break and also cutting the fallen trees into firewood and to do this without access to electricity. So here's what came together. First of all, my son bought this lithium battery inverter so that has a maximum of 500 watts. And then I saw this angle grinder advertised as just under 500 watts. So this went perfectly together with the uh, inverter power pack. And then I came across a shop selling these uh, blades, these saw blades for an angle grinder, which cuts the wood, the kind of trees that I'm interested in, the little trees and the branches of trees and making firewood. So that's perfect. And then the last piece of the puzzle I, I did today, and that was very often when you start a motor, especially on an inverter, that initial spike of electricity is so great that the inverter complains and it just stops because there's that starting current. It's like a, it's like a, a dead short end before the motor gets going. And then when the motor gets going, then the amperage comes down. But that amps rises too high and it goes over the 500 watts, which this inverter is, is limited to. So the last piece of the puzzle that came together today was I bought online the soft starter and I wired it into this plug so that a soft starter is so that when you plug a motor such as a drill or an angle grinder into an inverter, it slowly ramps up the current. There's not that dead short that you normally get at this as a motor starts. And so the inverter can cope with it and so it all works. So let me just show you how this all came together so that we could now cut wood with a system. And then I will show you how I wired this in uh, the soft start into this plug. And that is what this video is about. How to wire a soft start into a plug so that you can run an angle grinder, say. So I bought a soft start, um, it arrived recently, that's what it looks like, and on the base of the soft start they give a circuit that looks something like this, it's got C and B which is these two wires, black and red, and then it's got A, a blue wire, and then this is apparently the motor of our, of our angle grinder, this is the mains, um, here is the mains with its um, power. There are only two prongs on the, if you look at this angle grinder, it's got only two prongs. So there's the two prongs for the electricity. And then there's the motor of the angle grinder. And I've got to do the circuit. Now, I didn't like the way this could confuse some people. Where's my chalk? Yeah. They didn't put a little like that to show that this wire is not connected to this one. Or they could have said there it joins. So what I'm hoping to do is to install this little soft start somehow and attach it onto this thing. But this plug, which has got a plastic earth so it only uses two i'm hoping to be able to still plug the angle grinder into here 
and then I'm hoping to install the soft start somehow between where this plugs in and where this goes into the mains. So I'm hoping to cut this open. Now they really don't want you to open this. So what I'm planning to do is to try and saw this open and to see if I can get to the wires inside. I'm going to just use this little file and I'm going to try and file through this piece of copper. You can see that piece of plastic has come, I mean this piece of copper is now loose. So I've definitely separated and then this has got to go to the black. So we're going to put a bit of flux on the black of the, the black. Let's flux up all those wires. Get a bit of solder. Right, let's put a bit of solder on here. A bit of solder on here. And then we've got to get the two to marry. So let's just weigh this down with something. Right, so the black is on from the live, we go to the red. So red must somewhere attach onto here. So let's just attach the red to anywhere here. And now we've got to get the red to join onto here. So that's now joined. And last of all, we've got to get the blue wire to stick to here. Now I need to glue this all together again. So with the soft start now on, I've got the small little battery power pack that goes up to three, uh, 500 watts. There's the soft start and watch this angle. Down. So there is our soft starter and here is our modified. This is what we modified earlier to adapt the, the soft starter. We are going to do some wood cutting with our little battery inverter system. So the slow start and the angle grinder. So, how perfect is that for cutting wood out when you're out in the bush or the sticks and you want to do some um, fire break clearing or cutting firewood or something and you've got your little uh, angle grinder with a saw blade and with this power pack lovely <laughs>